we're going to now check how much of the shed floor they've done and the more they've done the better because we want cows in there as soon as possible and they've done all of that side they're going to need to put more of these up now before they can do any more i will go over to this side and show you here this can lift up all of these three and that's to put the pipe in to get the slurry out so i'm gonna go spread some slurry now i won't film it i might film a bit of it but let these get on hopefully they'll be a lot more done by the end of the day so let's get on with this gonna turn this one around park it up there so we can load it up get the skid steer, bring it around to there, get the scraper, we'll load it up first and then we'll scrape up and then load more up and then we'll see what else is going on today. First it needs a bit of a drink and then we'll be able to get on. That's a good thing with the skid steer though since we pretty much well we do use it every single day for quite a while and we barely ever have to refill it it'll last a long time so that's good That's full, and that'll do, so I don't know where this is going to get spread yet, we'll have to see. But that is definitely enough in there. At the field now. Spreading it here. And then I reckon there'll be about two more loafles of this. Nice. Spreader can actually hold quite a lot of slurry. It's quite impressive, but let me get in place and we'll start here. GoPro just died because I accidentally left it on in my pocket, so I'm going to use my phone. Starting C1 here. Turn the PTO on. Now I'm going to keep this window shut. I don't want anything to fly in here. Turn the revs up all the way to 540. There we go, start moving a little bit, pull this back, 
It's harder to do in this tractor since it's a lever instead of a switch, lever, whatever you want to call it. It is definitely going to rain by the looks of that cloud. That cloud don't look nice at all. This slurry here was spread a couple of days ago. I'll carry on with this and then I'll show you when it's empty. I had to stop recording because it was it's very difficult to spread slurry while one-handed. But it looks like it's definitely gonna be raining soon. But that's that done, I'll show you inside. Do that. There, it's empty. Looks lovely. Alright, so let's get back in, fill it up again, and yeah. Changing liners, best job in the world. This is a liner. After so many milkings, we have to change these. These are the little things that put um, the tea dip on and disinfect it. And that bit, we've got to line up with that bit. See the arrow on that? Look? And that job is done, they've all been replaced. And here are all the old ones. The weather is awful now, and what I'm out here to show you is these channels have been delivered and they won't be putting, I think they might be putting next week or something they wanted to start with that then. But this has been delivered and some extra things, nets and things over there. And that arrived two days ago. And I will do a new shed update in the next video. I'm just waiting for them to do a little bit more and yeah I'm gonna head back because it's just started to rain again the weather's gone bad I don't think the weather is going to be nice again for a while 
but anyway that is the end of this video and i hope you have enjoyed and if you have then i'll see you in the next one